Hello, I'm John Canalopoulos, an eye surgeon based in Athens, Greece, and New York City, New York, clinical professor of ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York City. This is a very fascinating story we'll share with you. This is the story of a family that uh, flew to Athens, Greece from the U.S. under the, the recommendation of the University of Utah. Uh, the young child, a uh, 13-year-old boy, had uh, keratoconus, which is a disease we have been working on the last 10 years and have introduced several new treatment modalities. In essence, we're trying to avoid a cornea transplant, which as you can imagine, and you'll hear from the parents, may be a significant lifestyle change for a 13-year-old boy, and try and improve the visual function and stabilize the devastating consequences that keratoconus may have by using a technique that utilizes light and vitamin B2, riboflavin. Uh, it's a long story to describe here all the progress and the steps involved in collagen cross-linking, which is essentially the procedure. And although I myself practice in the U.S., uh, it is not yet FDA approval. We were able in uh, Little Raimi to employ a new technology developed by Avidro, the leader worldwide in the cross-linking technologies and cross-linking materials. Uh, the device that we used is the KXL2 device and you'll see some of that in the video. And we're able to design, according to Ramey's maps of each cornea, a treatment that would not only stabilize the progressing keratoconus, which is a thinning and um, bulging out of the cornea, but we're able also to flatten these corneas to achieve a refractive effect. Thus, give this young uh, child the ability to read better, use his iPad better, and do his activities better. Obviously, it, one eye was easier uh, for us uh, because the keratoconus was milder. The other, other eye was more advanced, and we combined it, uh, the collagen cross-linking with a thermal flattening procedure. Uh, but in essence, uh, it's been months now, and the result is very gratifying. And uh, for us, uh, getting such feedback definitely uh, makes our work worthwhile because this is what uh, we work for. This is what we strive for. Uh, and I hope you enjoy both the scientific data, but also to how this uh, intervention was able to change the course uh, of the family. We're now in the hospital. Remy is under general anesthesia, and here we're designing the highly specialized treatments with the uh, KXL2 technology made by uh, Vidro, a uh, pioneering company from Wava, Massachusetts, that has really changed the face of collagen cross-linking globally. Very proud to be working this technology here. We're sterilizing Raimi's eyes with uh, liquid uh, betadine, and soon we'll commence with the specialized treatment, transepithelial CXL. So we're starting with uh, just uh, gently wiping the mucus from the surface of the epithelium. This is really not painful. We usually do this on the slip lamp. Uh, it's just uh, that our patient here is very young, 13 years old, that we decided to go uh, general anesthesia so we can have uh, the maximum cooperation. Can you put in the So we're going to start now with the parasol. We'll use uh, this uh, epithelial abrasive, so to speak, the riboflavin for two minutes. So a total of four drops. Drop number one goes in. We'll wait 30 seconds. So now we're switching to a Vibex Extra. This is 0.25%, uh, so this is uh, two and a half times the normal concentration of uh, the flavin. With uh, principle of this administration to uh, have uh, as much as uh, riboflavin penetrate through the epithelium and the anterior stroma. So we'll soak with Vibex Extra for an additional 10 minutes. One drop every 30 seconds. As we're approaching the last uh, few drops, we're going to drape the upper eyelash and uh, use our uh, speculum here. all set up for the treatment. Mm. Mm. 
Ja. Bring in our device. Yeah. Alright, so we have uh, our nose camera here to make sure we're not on the patient's nose. I'm going to patient with a photo and uh, we will get set up here. Centering at the uh, pupillary aperture. Ready to focus. Now the tracker is activated. And then we'll activate our uh, device. Uh, mm -hmm. So our treatment is activated. We have a total of uh, five minutes to go. We'll be rinsing the uh, cornea surface. One of the remarkable things with this procedure is the patient wake up and will feel no pain. Very fast recovery and an immediate effect. Here's the Avidro highly customized treatment we used with the KXL2 device. You can see the very, very high fluency XL Epion. And here, uh, before on the top right, after and bottom right, and the difference on the left. Remarkable result transepithelially. School is difficult for him to see uh, the whiteboards as the, as the teacher is writing things. Uh, sometimes it's difficult for him in sports, uh, like walking up and down stairs or riding a bicycle for difficult because he can only see with one eye. Um, and so, but normal things, you know, brushing his teeth, getting ready, he's okay, but anything that required him to see made it a lot difficult for him. It wasn't difficult to want to take care of our son. Of course, as a parent, we want our son to have what's best for him. But it was very expensive. You know, we're, we're not a wealthy family. Um, and, you know, the plane tickets were expensive and the treatment is expensive and we don't have insurance to cover it. Um, so that part was a little bit difficult, but we knew that it was important, so we, we chose to come. He has a little bit of a disability, so it's sometimes hard for him to understand everything. Uh, we told him we were going on an airplane trip uh, for a long, long trip, and he wanted to stay home, but he didn't really understand that it was going to fix his eyes. But once we got on the airplane and flying here, he was, he was happy and wasn't too nervous about it. We can already. Um, we see that uh, as, as he's looking at stuff close up, you know, before he would look like this and now he can see it further away. Uh, he seems a lot happier and more confident just as he's walking. As a parent, of course, we all want what's best for our children. And uh, we knew that coming to, to Athens was a big decision, but we knew that it would be good for our son. And uh, we also thought about you know, Dr. Kandalopoulos is an excellent doctor, and he's, uh, you know, he has a lot of skill, technology, and uh, a lot of experience, and so we, we put our trust in him. Um, we're also religious people, so we put our trust in God, that, that God would, um, you know, take over where, where, where he could and help us, so, so we're happy that we came. I hope that he is just a, uh, uh, you know, has a life that's as normal a life just like any other children. Um, you know, that he can play sports, that he can do well in school and make friends and, and not have problems with his eyes or other problems that um, can make that more difficult. Times the best gifts we get are not found under the Christmas tree. This season, a Davis County family is grateful for the gift of sight that their son received. It's a story you'll only see here on 5. Ed Yates has the story. Morning, sire. A voice squawked down to them. Ooh, I quiver with fear, said Carl. Like all loving parents. Who's that? Is that Zazu? Stephanie and Randy Farnsworth want the best for their son, Ramir, or as his friends know him, Tintin. He attends at a regular public junior high school here in Davis County. He has Down syndrome. He is a very well-behaved, cheerful uh, little boy. Okay, yeah. He so when they it. noticed Tintin's eyesight was failing, they were concerned. Now, at one point, we were worried he would lose his eyesight completely. So they sought the help of specialists at the Moran Eye Center in Salt Lake City and were told their son has keratoconus. Keratoconus is where the cornea is becoming like a cone rather than a sphere. And that's very common in Down syndrome. When that happens, that can compromise vision. HD, good job.
for treatment, most patients in the United States undergo a cornea transplant. Cornea transplants are done about uh, 55,000 times a year in the United States. They're the most common uh, solid organ transplant as well as the most successful uh, solid organ transplant. But for Tintin, Tin, a transplant wasn't a good option. The transplant procedure, you know, for anybody, it's not an easy thing to do. If they rub their eyes afterwards, it, it could make the whole thing go bad and, and, and ruin his eyes forever. And, and he rubs his eyes quite a bit just normally. Plus, he's kind of young, his eyes are still changing a lot. And so the doctor suggested that if he did get a transplant, it would probably not be for another 10 years. Dr. Ambadi recommended an outpatient procedure that is not yet approved in the United States, but has had promising results in Europe. If we can restore his vision and pre preserve his vision without doing a major surgery, that's in his best interest. The procedure is called collagen cross-linking. The technique uses a combination of vitamin eye drops with a special ultraviolet or UV laser. And that combination not just preserve what he has, but hopefully improve his vision better than where he was started. So the Farnsworth went to Greece. A big trip to go over there. They were hoping for a miracle. Um, but as parents, you know, you want everything for your children. They were hoping Tintin's eyesight could be restored. Before we do anything, just make him better. Because the procedure isn't covered by insurance, the Farnsworths plan to sell their car or deplete their savings to pay for the trip. The week before when we were at church, um, People were just walking up to us, and uh, so they're handing us red envelopes, like is, is the custom in, in, in China, and just, you know, one after the other. And um, so it was, uh, it was really humbling. Again, people that have never met us rallied together and, and, and helped out, in, you know, financially and, and, and thinking about him and praying about him, and, and we, we could tell that that made a big difference. And the procedure went better than expected. The doctor there, he was so impressed by how, how well his eyes responded to the treatment that he said, you know, maybe we can do a, an interview on, on Greek television. The Farnsworth say they have much to be grateful for this holiday season. Ed Yates for KSL 5 News. The gift of sight, way to go. Dr. Embody said the cross-linking procedure should be available in the United States sometime in the next 18 months or so. The introduction could reduce the number of cornea transplants done here. Patients with mild to moderate keratoconus could benefit from this new procedure. A compelling story. We wish uh, Raimi the best. I'd like to take this opportunity and thank my team here in Athens, the Laser Vision uh, Clinical Research Institute uh, team as well as the Avidra team, which provided uh, this tremendous technology. I know that uh, David Mueller and his team have become the pioneers in collagen cross-linking the last five years. I'm very fortunate to have been first uh, to work with this technology and been able to offer this to patients here in Greece. And as we saw here, a compelling story that medicine has no borders. And really, this is what makes our work worthwhile and inspired us to work even harder for next year. Thank you very much for watching this.